there is a, first of all, there's the language. The Arabic language is one of the, in my opinion, one of the most extraordinary uh, constructions of the human mind. Language of poetry. It's a language of poetry, it's a language of mysticism and theology, it's a language of law, it's a language of extraordinary humor, for example, and na narration. I mean, some of the great feats of narrative skill, the Arabian Nights, uh, the travels of Ibn Battuta, etc., are written in Arabic. So there's that. There's al it's also one of the great religions of the world, which is in Arabic. I mean, the, the Quran is the word of God in the Arabic language. For example, a great Syrian poet, uh, Nizal Qabbani, is the most popular poet in the Arab world, read everywhere from Morocco right through to the Gulf. The language is that of all the Arabs. There's a lingua franca, which is amazingly alive, and a literature that goes along with it. There's a political culture, not of individual countries, but of Arabism, of the sense of a nation and of a people, which is tremendously important to every Arab, despite these divisions that are now uh, plaguing our, you know, our contemporary reality. And that is unknown in this country. You're really fascinated with that language, aren't you? No, As a writer, you're a <laughs> professor. Well, it's, it's, it's not only a rich language, it's been so much maligned, you know, because it's, it's considered to be a very difficult language. In fact, it's not. Uh, but it's characterized, it's interesting, a lot of the attacks and the cultural attacks on the Arabs focus on the language that's considered to be a language of violence, of bombast, of, of, uh, of sort of awful portentousness. It isn't, in fact. It's a very flexible, athletic language. From athletic? Which the, athletic. Oh, fantastic. So. Many, many, can do many things. Many, many things. Greek. It, uh, it, exactly. Most of, the great, most of the great classics of the Greeks came, uh, the, the scientific classics, the logical classics, the works of Aristotle, came to the West through Arabic translations. I mean, that's how they were known. So that sense of the language unites us, because it's a language of religion, it's a language of everyday life, it's a language of, uh, of, of, of courtship, it's a language of society, and its possibilities are as many as the Arabs are many. Many so, of those great uh, romantic, if not erotic, poems came out of that uh, a certain Arabic uh, style. And yes, but poem. not only that, I mean, that has a certain kind of... Um, uh, st um, stylized things. Right. But if you look, for example, one of the great creations of the 20th century is the Arabic novel. I mean, Nagib Mahfouz, who won the Nobel Prize for literature in 1988, 